This is in the dugout with me, Paul McShane. The first moment of my career is, it's hard to put your, your finger on one thing, but I reckon, I reckon, I reckon one that sticks in my mind actually would be, I'd say, the promotion with Hull City in the last day of the championship season where um, I scored in that game as well, so it was, it was, a, it was, a, big, it was a big game and it was, uh, it was sort of last day stuff and there was a lot of drama going around the place, so I reckon that, um, that one sticks in my mind. Best player I've ever played with is probably uh, Roy Keane when I was growing up at, at Manchester United. Tra I've trained with him and played uh, a few friendly games with him in pre-season and stuff and um, he was sort of Mr. Perfection and uh, he was he was, he was was definitely, he set, he set the standards at, at Manchester United and I'd, I rarely see him give away the ball in training and, and in games so I reckon with the whole package, I reckon uh, Roy Keane would have to be the one for me. Best friend in football is... I don't know. I've not got many friends, to be honest with you. No one likes me too much, but... I know. Um, I reckon Stephen Quinn. I mean, he's, 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 he's come from uh, Hull City, and it was, it was brilliant that he, he came with me and made me settle in much easier here, here at Reading. I supported Manchester United as I was a boy, but I've, now I'm supporting Paul McShane. I have no team to follow, just supporting myself. If I wasn't a footballer, I don't have a clue what I'd be doing. I reckon I would have gone to university and probably, probably be president of the Republic of Ireland at the minute, so um, it's lucky that I'm playing football, to be honest. Ah oh, well, <laughs> my initiation, initi my initiation song was. I thought I'd catch the lads off 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 guard, and I actually did uh, notorious B.I.G. Um, Juicy, so I I, I I I banged that one out, and um, I think a few of the lads were were very surprised because I think I think they thought I was the last person that would do that. So that was that was they wouldn't have known any Irish songs and stuff. So I, so I thought I'd do a bit of Biggie, you know. Outside of football, I am I'm actually learning Spanish at the minute. I've been learning. I took up Spanish last season. Me and James Chester went to some classes in Hull, and uh, we I've tried to keep going. Me, Hamo, Paul, Fivo uh, in Reading, Hugar uh, Hugar para Reading FC. Uh, I sound Dutch. <laughs> that was a bit of Dutch accent. That was. Yeah, it's a bit of Spanish with a Dutch accent. There you go. Um, I, to be honest, I'm not one for the box sets. I'm, I'm, I got, the lads give me stick. The lads at Hull give me a lot of stick about the box sets because I don't know. I don't think I've got the commitment for them. I, wear, I, I watched the first series and then uh, and then that's it. I sort of get the gist of it and I'm thinking I can either take it or leave it. The worst dress sense. <laughs> Michael Hector came in in a full full uh, camouflage tracksuit the other day. I thought I just pulled up to Afghanistan training base, but uh, yeah, it was a yeah. I don't know. It was a bit out there the camouflage track. You hadn't seen it before, so he's got a few of them. He likes his camouflage hecky, so I think he's the only one that that that, that just sticks in my mind. So uh, I'll have to, I'll have to go for him. At the minute, I'm driving around in a Land Rover Defender, so uh, I like me Landys. Um, yeah, so it's just I just wanted to go for something a little bit different, and I just like the I like the look of them, and there's a I feel part of a part of a cult because there's a little landy wave. So, I mean, if you've got a landy, give me a, give me a wave when you're going by me. Yeah.